welcome back to expo op channel myself rakesh and today we are going to learn a very interesting topic how do you log in or what is the new way to open browser and log into a web page in the latest version of uapa studio now let's say i want to log into gmail.com so how this can be done on the new uapa studio let's check that now for this you need an activity known as use application in browser just type use application and you will find this activity so this is the new modern activity using which we are going to log into gmail.com now the very first thing we need is open the google chrome page let's say you wanted to log into gmail on the google chrome open the google chrome page and try to sign out you might have been already logged in check it in case you have already signed out it's well and good if not sign out from this page okay because if you type gmail.com it will automatically log you in so let's hit on continue so i wanted to go back to the default page okay so i have already signed out from the single sign on right gmail so now let's type gmail.com so this is the page of the gmail.com so here i wanted to click on use another account enter the user id and password and log in that is the entire process we wanted to automate so first thing what we will do here click on the indicate application all right and show it to the chrome it will automatically bring it to the backend application and then it is going to automatically capture the browser url so whatever the url of that page it's going to auto capture fine now after using this let's run it so there is a problem with this the problem is when you run this it is going to open the gmail.com page give it a second now you will see something you wanted to happen in a different way so now you can see the gmail page has opened okay now immediately is going to close this page and go back to the studio see it has opened now it has closed so you do not want studio to auto close it so for that go to the property option and here all you need to do hit on never for the close hit on never by that by doing this it's not going to close automatically for example if you run it again so this is a very important learning okay in case you wanted to keep it open then this is a important learn learning okay now the page has opened now if you go to the background the page is still open it has not auto closed it okay so that's what we want after that as a human being what would you do you would click on this use another account right you will click so same thing let's design it on the studio look for the click activity okay now drag and drop this click activity into the do block of this activity of this container okay this is known as a container so within the container i am using the activity called click activity now here indicate hit on indicate and select the use another account now in this one after you select it is a very important point to remember okay so there is something called add anchor so click on this add anchor and for this page it is not automatically getting the anchor so we are doing it manually and hitting on the anchor and trying to indicate an element which is nearby this so this is the nearby icon so i am indicating this okay so this is very very important aspect you can indicate any of the nearby element but the nearest element is this so let's select it okay hit on confirm if that does not happen automatically all right so as a human being you will click on it right you will click on that use another account and then this is the place select and delete this and this is the place where you would like to enter the gmail address so once you delete that default one it may appear in the google chrome so after that you want to type right so let's use a type into activity and drag and drop this very simple and then again we will follow the same process of indicating and then i am going to indicate this okay now what is the nearest element uh, for the anchor let's click on this anchor button and i think that this is the nearest element so i am going to select the nearest or the close by element done hit on confirm and here what would you like to type you would like to type the 
ID. Okay, at the rate gmail.com is not necessary. So simply you can type the ID. So once you type the ID, let's say this is how you will type the ID. After that, what will you do? After that, you are going to hit on next. So you want to click on next. So for that, again, we will use a click activity. So how a human being does the same process we have to follow. So let's drag and drop the click activity. All right. Now here again, indicate and again, select that element. Pretty simple. And now because this is not having an anchor, let's highlight and then hit on this anchor and the nearest element could be this. Okay. Let's select it. Okay. Hit on confirm. So done. Now you have clicked on next. So after clicking on next on that particular page, what is the next thing is going to appear? It would ask you to enter the password. So let's enter the default saved password and make it blank. Okay. Go back to the studio and here you want to type in the password. Now remember password has to be dealt in a secure way, right? It has to be in a secure way. So how can you do this in a secure way? Let me tell you. And on your windows just type credential manager okay and open credential manager so we wanted to store the password in a secure vault so that it you no know, password it's a password right it's not a simple string so once you come to the credential manager hit on add a generic credential okay so here let's type the network address which is nothing but I will simply give a name called Gmail and username you can enter the username and then let's enter the password okay so once you have entered the password click on okay now how can we get this password which is saved in this name called gmail and the right how can we get it to the studio now to get this password we have to install a package so click on manage packages hit on official and then we need to look for something called credential activity okay this is the activity you need to install uipath dot credentials dot activities and hit on install and save i have already installed so you need to hit on install and save okay so once you have done that go to the activity and type credential okay then there is something called get secure credential so let's drag and drop this get secure credential to our workflow so once you have dragged and drop go to the property there is something called target click on this buttons and here type the name so what is the name we have given in the credential manager do you remember we have given the name called gmail right so the exactly we are going to type so gmail so come over here within double code i'm going to type gmail okay look at the way i have typed look at the way you have typed gmail the same way you type hit on okay all right now what we need we have already entered the username in the top type into activity so we do not need the username we need the password let's create a variable here and then pwd right click and create a variable and here I have created a variable now go to the variable panel you will see this pwd is a secure string that means it's going to securely store your password or securely use the password fine so once this is done now I would use a type into activity and drag and drop this type into activity and here in the type into activity Let's again indicate that area where it's supposed to type. Okay. And what is the important uh, aspect? We need to provide the anchor. So what is the nearby anchor? This is the nearby anchor. Fine. And hit on confirm. So once you indicate here what you would like to type, let's use the very let's use the variable PWD, right? So for that, hit on secure okay hit on secure once you select secure here enter that variable pwd variable just now you have created done so once it types in what is the next thing manually you will do you will hit on next right let's use a click activity pretty simple how a human being does we are just trying to create 
it in the UAP Studio. Indicate and select the next. And providing an anchor is very very important. Let's select the anchor, nearby anchor, and hit on confirm. All right. So now everything is done. It is going to enter the password. Hit on next. After that, what would happen? It will log in. So let us use a message box and provide a message to the user stating, "Wait for a few seconds. Wait for a few seconds." for the gmail to load sometime it may take some time right so that's all so entire workflow is now created now it is our time to check if our workflow is working perfectly fine or there is some kind of a problem we will rectify that so let's debug it okay before that close the open browser the google chrome background browser you close it close everything and run it okay now give it a second all right so it has opened the gmail browser now let's see if it is clicking on use another account give it a second so what is happening looks to me it is not able to properly identify the use another account okay so there will be a error in some time so let me stop it so where the problem has appeared where exactly the problem appeared while it is trying to click on use another account so this is the place where it had a problem so what we will do will again to rectify that let's first of all go back to that uh, specific page how it was so let me or simply uh, open the google chrome and type gmail so this is how the problems will appear on real time so let's type gmail.com okay so on this uh, on this particular page it's not able to identify and click okay it is just uh, having some confusion so how do you rectify that let's see it now what we will do we'll click on indicate right indicate target on screen and then again we will try to indicate so we had given um, the anchor here right but this anchor looks like it did not work properly so what we will do we'll try to change the anchor let's say i want to give it to this particular icon okay or maybe uh, maybe this entire entire uh, option okay so it understands below that so you can select your own uh, area and look at this here uh, click on this anchor okay so the image has been captured so i feel there will be a lot of accuracy all right so hit on confirm so image accuracy is high almost 80% okay so hit on confirm so if this kind of a problem appears so you can rectify like this okay now let's try to run it before that let's close the browser and debug it okay so generally uh, clicking on some element that is where most of your challenge challenges would appear and you need to know how to play with the selectors so selectors play a very very important role how do you select the, that element so let's see this time how it works okay so the page has come let's see if it, now it can click on use another account or not okay so now it was successfully was able to click very good now it has typed the gmail now it's supposed to clear that and enter the password it has done now it's supposed to hit on next very good getting it so now you can see our workflow is stable it is able to click on okay try to run your workflow two to three times and see if it is really stable or not if not you need to keep on changing the selectors and see which is the suitable one so now the mailbox has appeared and wait for few seconds for gmail to load even the message box has appeared all right so thank you uh, so much guys for watching this video and i'm pretty sure going through this example must give you a lot of knowledge and you will be able to really play with the selectors and see what is the right way to complete this action. So thank you guys. And I am pretty sure if this is your first automation that you have created, congratulations. Continue to watch all our videos on the Expo Hub channel. Go to our channel, click on the icon and go to our channel homepage and start watching the playlist that we have created. Many people are taking benefit, even you could be one. 
thank you guys for watching our videos take care we are going to meet again in the next video take care bye bye